Hey man, stay safe world here. You already know what's going on. We got to talk about this situation about Akon City and apparently it being a giant billion dollar Ponzi scheme, man. But before we get into all that information, man, I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to run this up. So this all comes from a new report that came from page six, where Akon's ex-business partner basically said that it's basically a Ponzi scheme, honestly. Akon City, Senegal, it was, if you didn't know already, it was a huge project that mad people were talking about, where Akon was bound to make a Senegalese American joint venture where he basically created a city built in Senegal the project was first announced back in 2018 with the Senegal Minister of Tourism basically stating that it was a six billion dollar project where Akon was basically gonna renovate a whole like village turn it into a giant city where basically it was supposed to be like trademark they were also supposed to be only accepting cryptocurrency and like have a huge complex and stuff like that but it turns out that he has a lot of shady business practices and a lot of people are beginning to believe that it was all a ponzi scheme so this all was in a report today where his a former business associate compared it to a ponzi scheme basically but he basically says he compared the rapper's plans to of a futuristic city in Senegal to a Ponzi scheme while asking a judge to freeze his New York assets while a $4 million lawsuit plays out. And by his, I mean like Akon's. Divine Steffens, a music exec who's worked with musicians including Jay-Z, Destiny's Child, Usher, Pink, and more, sued Akon in 2021 for nearly $4 million. He alleges he still owes his former partner from a prior legal agreement. So uh, now St Stephens is asking a judge to freeze all Akon's Big Apple assets, claiming with that without the freeze, he'd have difficulty collecting the debt, given Akon's alleged history of shady practices, according to papers filed in Manhattan Supreme Court. Akon's six billion dollar project is to turn an oceanfront village in Senegal into a eponymously named Wakanda-like city that would run on cryptocurrency called Acoin. In one example of this, Stevens' lawyer Jeffrey Movit alleges citing the findings of retired federal special agent Scott Thomason. And um, basically, Acon did this project in the first place because he wanted to pledge like people to pull up to Senegal and invest in tourism and where he's from. There was like plans to create it. The city was intended to become home to 300,000 people. The $6 billion city would be built outside the small seaside village of Modine. So, Acon City and Acoin show many of the trademark characteristics known as red flags of fraudulent business ventures such as Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes, Thompson claims in his affidavit. The Acon City plants are broken promises, Movid alleged. Acon has provided no transparency about who is investing in Acon City or how it will be purportedly built. Therefore, Acon City is likely a scam, Movid right? citing Thomason's affidavit. Therefore, there is scant information about how the cryptocurrency would work and it's being promoted with raffles and tokens, which are characteristics of multi-level marketing scheme that the filing claims. It's crazy, man. This is like a giant rug pull. I don't know if y'all have been hip to cryptocurrency right now, but a lot of these coins and NFTs right now are basically rug pull operations, op op oper operations, my bad, but operations where they basically set a coin up and then they get a lot of hype because it's like a Grammy nominated singer or some shit like that is behind it and they think it's going to artificially bring up hype for the coin or NFT or whatever and then the fucking company that does it disappears and doesn't fucking pay anyone and then they just get the money off of it it's crazy but um Stephens isn't the only one allegedly struggling to get money from Akon, who is a hefty unpaid tax bill, the court papers claim. In fact, the IRS placed lien on Akon's real estate because he owes over $6 million in taxes, the filing alleges. And despite Akon allegedly bragging in an interview about getting paid in garbage bags full of cash for his performances in Africa, he does not appear to be using this African cash to repay his debts to the IRS. And he certainly is not using this cash to fulfill his contractual debts of plaintiffs which are the subject of the lawsuit it just gets even deeper 
I don't know, man. This shit is looking kind of sus, for real. This is like some Bernie Madoff shit. So Akon's rap Misty says, Mr. Stevens' allegations about Akon City and Akon's business ventures are not based on any evidence. There are nothing but innuendo and speculation made by someone who has a claim against Akon dismissed. The rep said, referring to a claim the prior version of Stevens' lawsuit that a judge tossed. Akon is proud of the efforts he is undertaking to create opportunities in his homeland of Senegal, the statement concluded. Movit declined to comment. But haven't you seen this? Like this has been going on for damn near like three years, four years now, and they haven't even I haven't seen any progress in this at all. Isn't that crazy? Like no one has seen any of the money go anywhere in Akon City, bruh. Like what? This man and it's like the Akon currency is going on. It's probably about to be like V-Bucks or Usher dollars or whatever the fuck. Like it's not like really, people aren't really using that shit like this, man. And it's it's kind of crazy and it's sad because it, if so, then he's taking advantage of a developing nation's economy to just scam them out of $2 billion. And then you wonder why, like it's just corruptness, man. But hopefully like we see some type of like situation come to light because it's like man how in the world is you gonna like allow someone to have a six billion dollar investment and then not see any profit of it and there's no crypto coin either like it doesn't take four years to make this shit maybe start building the city but it's like if he's getting garbage bags full of money i'm guaranteeing it's not that much to build in africa like that so there should be some type of like progress happening but hey man let me know in the comments what y'all think you think this is a ponzi scheme or you think that there's really gonna be a futuristic wakanda city formed by akon real estate Say shit, let me know in the comments. You already know. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's run it up.